Okay, so for high bar back squatting, let's go through the entire setup. So first, once we've determined that our bar height is appropriate, that means it is below your shoulder, and we have the right barbell that you want to use, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that you always start by pulling the bar back. So you kind of lock it into the side of the rack. These are called J-clips or J-hooks. Um, so you pull it all the way back, you let it sit on the edge so it doesn't have any more room to wiggle, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the right position for your hands. Now for me, I have more mobile shoulders, so I'm a little bit more narrow than a lot of people. The more narrow you are, the more stable you will become. So try to get as narrow as you can, but you still want to make sure that you're in the appropriate positions. So this is my position. I have people start, if they have the shoulder mobility, with their, their thumb creases right on the knurling line. So this is your knurling, this is your thumb, okay? So this is a good place to start to kind of test the waters and see if that works for you. And then you have a firm grip, okay? Now the next step is to pull yourself under and to make sure you're super stable before you even step out of the rack. So I pull under, okay? I want to do this to make sure that I have it on my traps. I don't want it on my neck. I don't want it too low if I'm doing a high bar back squat. So I want it right here. So I rock side to side to make sure I have that stable position. And then I make sure that my wrists are neutral. So I don't want them to be extended like this. I don't want my elbows to be back. I don't want my elbows to be forward. I just kind of want them to be in line with my body, wrist neutral, and think about pulling the bar into you. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling down with my lats to set myself up for a really strong and stable squat. At this point, I pick it up, okay? Pick it up with both feet under you, and then you're gonna walk back. Okay, find your appropriate squat stance based on the other test that we just did. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to squat down. Now this is where things kind of change, depending on like how long your torso is, how long your legs are. If you have a really long torso, you might be leaning a little bit more forward, okay? If you have really long legs, you might be able to squat super upright without your back arching because obviously my back just arched and that's not good, okay? So really strong position, you're pulling that bar into you, find the position that works for you. Most of my patients that come in, I have them look at the corner where the floor meets the wall and I have them look there, stay tight. Their knees kind of bend the same time that their hips bend. So my hips, knees move the same rhythm and I squeeze my butt at the top, okay? Once again, I'm pulling down, I'm breathing. Now we'll get into bracing later if you're really a competitive lifter and you want to get the most lift um, with your squat, obviously, or PR, then you have to do a different thing, and we'll go through that in a different video.